Hello, my friends. I'm going to be testing Arteza's pouring paints in just a few minutes. But first, I would like to remind you that I'm offering free shipping on any of my artwork through the month of November. I added about 40 new pieces yesterday. Pours you've seen on video, some you haven't, some embellished pieces, and some colored pencil things, and more. So please feel free to take a look. ChrissyPaints.com. Click on the word shop to see everything. And very important, be sure to read the details about the free shipping in the description box below. Okay, so here's the box Arteza sent me. It's got, what, 32 bottles in here. There's four white, a couple of black, um, some primary colors, pastels, some metallics, and some neons. So very fun assortment. And, of course, you can do some custom mixing to come up with even more colors. But um, this is plenty to start with. <laughs> so... I think um, what I'm going to do is decide on which colors I'm going to use and get set up. I need to you know, open them up and peel off that little protective deal, get my surface ready, gloved up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to use five colors. I did mix two of them. I'm going with um, sea green, lavender, and white. And then, of course, I needed some dark contrast, so I mixed ultramarine blue and brilliant red to come up with this wonderful, deep, rich red violet. And then I needed something else dark. Uh, the gold was just not um, dark enough for me, so I added a bit of black to it to come up with a, a deep gold, dark gold. So I'm just going to use this cup. I'm, I'm going to do one layer of each color, and um, I'm going to put white in between. Fill this cup up pretty much. So, here we go. I'm not sure if it needs to go down the side, but I think I'll do that just just to be sure I don't get a lot of blending. I want to test um, um, the lines. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Thinking of what color I'm going to use next. Did I say I'm going to try my ring and ribbon pour? I am, because that's, to me, the, my, the test for, um, you know, a ready-made paint. Oh, you know what? I, I'm not putting enough in. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of what I'm going to do next and trying to talk, and I, I can't seem to do both at once. <laughs> And then the green. Now this dark gold I mixed up. Hmm, I think I'm going to need more paint than that, so. Um, I'll go back and do a little bit more. Um, I'm also going to try these with uh, Floetrol, diluting them a bit, because they, they are only two ounce bottles, and you can use them up pretty quickly, but I'm going to see if I can't make them stretch by diluting them with Floetrol and trying some swipes. So that will come later. All right, that should be sufficient. And here we go. I'll just do kind of a ring pour, ring jiggle thing, and then put some ribbons on top.
Okay, I'm going to do some wide ribbons now. There we go. Let's see. Let's start from the side. Oh, that's pretty. Um, I'm going to do some wide ribbons, stretch it out, and then I'm going to try some narrow ones over the top so we really test every which way. Here we go. Okay, I saved plenty of I saved plenty of uh, paint. That's I don't need this much for what comes next. I think I'll I'll pour some more right over here. Oh wow, that that dark color mixed is really nice. Okay, here we go. I'm liking the separation of colors. That's good. As you see, I'm just pouring on a very um, narrow wooden round, very uh, thin. I buy them on eBay in a pack of, I don't know, 10 or 12. They're fun to practice on. and Actually, sometimes I've, I embellish on them and put them in a shadow box frame. It makes a nice presentation. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to try with what's left in the cup some uh, narrow ribbons on the top and see if they hold their shape. So, here we go. So far, so good. Maybe one more. I'm going to, again, I mean, this is just a practice piece to test out the paints, but um, I don't like this very straight line here, so I'm going to try to disguise it with a, a curvy line on top, or that crosses over it anyway. Okay, well, my uh, color choices were perhaps a little odd, but um, <laughs> I'm pleased with the with the paints. I like the uh, separation of color, and it was fun to mix colors, make a custom color. I like the dark gold. Let me bring you in a little closer. Oops, I had that light on in the way there. Yeah, the lines I added seem to be holding their shape. They're not um, spreading and getting misformed. It's very dimensional there. I like it.
Okay. Well, there you have it. Our Tessa Ready Mix paints. I'm going to give them a thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to, as I said, trying them, diluting them, and um, trying them with some Floetrol and doing a swipe. So that'll be coming up. Thanks for joining me, folks. Bye now. Okay, a little P.S. <laughs> um, call me crazy, but I decided I was going to test two techniques in one. So uh, I'm not particularly attached to this. I think it's pretty, but um, I want to see how it moves around if I hit it with a hairdryer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use up what paint I have left here. a good amount of this so I'll just I guess I'll just do kind of a puddle okay and here we go Well, that moved around really nicely. Um, now that's something I think I could use as a background and embellish in some way. Just cover up that. This is the one part I didn't like. I was trying to blow it over, but uh, didn't move. Let's maybe I can tilt it first. I'm going to fix this little edge here. No, no, I'm going to leave it alone. I think that's quite pretty. <laughs> okay, folks, I am really stopping now. Unless I think of something else to do with it. Ooh, maybe I'll hit it with a rain i I'm going to try that. I mean, why not? I'm just experimenting, although I just said I could embellish that. This is what I do. I I usually do this off camera, though. I, I change it up after I've stopped. I'm going to do it. I'm going to see if it reacts to um, a spritz of Rain-X. Rain-X. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, I just want to give you a better look at uh, the rain x effect with these Arteza paints. I'm, I really like it. Um, look at that. It's just like beautiful lacing. There, that's quite lovely. Anyway, there's a link to these Arteza products in the description box below. And you can save a little money by using a coupon code I'll give you there. And they have free shipping. And also uh, will be the link to my website. I'd love to have you check it out. Okay, my friends, I'm really done now. Bye-bye. <laughs>